Hi again, ladies. I just said I would explain how I achieved this look with the box on the punched, um, with the punched border. Um, I love the Fox and Friends set, and I specifically love the owl, which fits beautifully inside the scallop circle. Um, and the, the two circle punches it fits perfectly but the larger stamps which are the giraffe and the fox um, don't fit so well inside the conventional punches the stamping up offer <coughs> and I had like a eureka moment last night and thought that I'd invented something um, I'm sure I haven't please humour me and bear with me if you have seen this before which I'm sure some of you must have um, but what I've done is I've got this scallop square punch um, and I've punched out um, two of the squares already and when I layer them over the top of one another, lining up the scallops exactly, you can make this as long or as short as you want to. So by layering two up and making sure that I've got them matched on the scallop, when I then stamp up my fox, as I've done um, on the bit of paper, I've already cut it and made sure it's the right width. Um, and I try and mount it left-handed Ugh. It fits beautifully. You can't see the join, I don't think. Whoa! You can't see the join, I don't think. Um, and it means that it's ready to be mounted onto a card. Um, and like I say, you could do that for the giraffe. You could do that for um, any long sentiment words. You could turn it um, so that it's this way, and you could have a longer sentiment and cover it around the border with it. So. I hope you like that effect, I hope you'll use it, and um, I hope that you'll keep quiet if you've already seen it when I'm, when I'm boasting to you. Thanks, ladies. Bye-bye.